Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from DevTactic and the Ionic Academy. In this video, I will show you how you can easily deploy your current Ionic app to Heroku as a website. So Ionic basically already gives us a folder which is a website. And with Cordova, it is packaged later on into an iOS or Android container, but we can also take this container and deploy it as a web application. And that's what we will do in this tutorial. So I've created a blank new Ionic app. And the first thing we need to do is install some NPM uh, packages. And I will show you why. Um, we cannot just um, say Heroku, please surf this folder. Um, we have to create a little um, server file. So we go ahead and create a server.js at the top level of, your, uh, of our Ionic app. And we paste in some stuff and this is right where we need uh, Morgan Cores, Express Body Parser. Um, this stuff is basically what you use in every Node.js application. <coughs> Sorry. Um, you don't have to uh, mind this. It's just um, to uh, yeah, prevent some course issues you might expect. And actually the most important line is this because it tells our Express app to serve the www folder as a static page and then we will be able to access all the resources inside this folder um, but there are a few changes we need to make and also um, let's add a little change to our page here so this is ionic web um, and we add a little button uh, just to present a little pop-up to our users uh, where we can see on which platform we are actually running. Um, and we call this where am I running and this. And then the according function right here, show platform. Um, we need two more things. Oh, we actually should uh, increase. Uh, yes, sorry. Um, I hope you were still able to see the server.js file um, in case here it's again um, but you can find all the code in the link below the video so we got the button here we got show platform and inside show platform we now need an alert view so we have to add private alert controller alert controller and also we need the uh, platform so import both of them, platform and alert controller up here. So now we can use them. So let's say our text is I run on whatever. And here we use our platform dot platforms. Um, let's see the completion again, because this will return an array. Um, if you run it on a mobile device, it could return multiple things. So it's fine for us. We just want uh, to see the string and then we create our alert using our alert controller. And the title will be my home, whatever. Subtitle is our text and buttons um, just okay. Nothing special. And finally call alert present to show our controller. So now we got a little function inside our app, uh, which we can use. Um, to go ahead with Heroku, you need an account and I recommend to download the toolbed, otherwise this will not work. And then go ahead, run Heroku login to uh, enter your credentials. So I'm already logged in. Um, therefore I can go to the next step and call Heroku create, which creates a new app uh, somewhere here. Um, if you go to this right now, you see um, not really anything going on here. There's nothing deployed yet. So now we come to the actual deployment. And the problem is um, if we, for example, delete our build folder um, and commit this app, uh, Heroku is not able to build our Ionic app because normally um, when we run Ionic serve or something, the build command will be triggered using the Ionic app scripts. And those app scripts are not installed on Heroku. 
but we can change this by bringing the dev dependencies from here to the real dependencies okay so this change means um, Heroku will anyway install all the npm packages and now it will also install the app scripts and TypeScript which enables Heroku to build our app using the Ionic app scripts. Okay, so then Heroku will be able to build the folder and then um, it needs to uh, call our uh, server and we can create another file called proc file. So uh, you can already see everyone knows that this is related to Heroku. And inside this file, we can specify which command should be run for our application. And we call npm run build and then npm start. Okay, so why npm run build? If we go to our package JSON, to our scripts, we see there's already a build script. And this will call the app scripts build. And if we run npm run build, um, this script will be triggered. So uh, we can do it locally if you want to. So uh, we've deleted the folder. We call npm run build and the folder comes up and Ionic will do all the build process and copy the files over and stuff like this. And if we run npm start, our server JS file will be started from Heroku. I think they know that the file or that the server JS file is the normal name for this. So that's why they know this. Um, to make this even a bit more automatic, let's finally add another file. Uh, how can I add a top level file now? Uh, come on. Mm -hmm. Perhaps this. Okay. Um, we call this Heroku deployment shell script. And perhaps we have to change some uh, um, yeah so rules so we can execute the file actually and inside this one um, I think we just need to call git at whatever perhaps we've added some files git commit and then we add Heroku deployment and then we call git push Heroku master and this line is actually what deploys our application to Heroku. Um, you can add also Heroku open. This finally opens the page. And now let's give this one a try. So we call Heroku deployment. Um, you see some files were created, they are committed. That will be pushed to Heroku. And now we are already in the console log of our Heroku app. Um, a new Node.js app was detected that's right it's not just an ionic app it's now a node.js app Heroku goes ahead and builds our dependencies from our package json file so in this step um, all these dependencies will be installed including the app scripts and typescript so um, this of course can take a second or a minute or an hour you know this from node modules on your local machine um, but once this is ready, it will continue with this command. Uh, okay, so binary is fine, everything is installed, build succeed is always a good idea, um, a good log. So discovering process types, proc file declares, we have a web application. Um, and in my new uh, window, already at the great occurrence sense, whatever Heroku app, our app is deployed. Um, I think this can take a few seconds because um, I think this step is not yet finished when this command comes up. So perhaps wait a bit and hopefully um, we will soon be able to see our app. What you can do as well is um, call Heroku local to see if it works locally. Um, this can be a bit false uh, result because I tried this and it worked even before moving my dev dependencies to the dependencies because locally I have Ionic app scripts 
so this will always work um, but no if we go ahead to localhost 5000 we see that we got our ionic web app uh, right here using the local command we even get the log from our node.js server and if i call this i get i run on core and now finally our ionic web application deployed to the world wide web is also ready and it also gives me core um, you can now surf to this URL from your Android or iOS device and it will give you a different result um, returning mobile, iPhone, OS or something like this. So now you're actually able to um, make changes, do your uh, regular coding here, um, build your iOS and Android apps. And whenever you want to deploy it, because perhaps your project also needs a website, simply call your Heroku deployment script, which will add commit and push the current code base to Heroku. Um, everything will be installed automatically due to our changes to the package JSON and the proc file. And then you will be able to use your Ionic code even as a website. Uh, I'm always amazed at how easy this works, of course. Um, you need some UI changes perhaps or different general styling for the web but we are now able to build a full-blown application with web and mobile app from one single code base and this is really awesome. Perhaps you've already deployed something using Heroku and Ionic or an, another Ionic web app, please show it, leave a comment below this video. And also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more Ionic videos and also check out the ionicacademy.com if you're interested in learning Ionic with video tutorials, projects, and a great community. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day and take care.